as the boy season 4 just dropped its latest episode and let's just say we're getting the whole truth behind what's going on this season but before i get to this this is your spoiler warning if you haven't watched it go watch it and if you have you guys are the real heroes so the main storyline of this episode is tech knight's party where we see homelander sage and humans team up to stage a coup against the u.s government this means that most likely at the end of the season we will see homelander take over the government a lot like what he did in the comics which will be such a great ending to the season we also see a spider-man parody show and he's called web weaver and also tech knight is basically batman he has a butler who's like his father he has a secret lair and he is a sidekick who he does some sus activities with web weaver's safe word is also zendaya which is just hilarious since his character is based of spider-man Huey getting tortured of sorts is just so uncomfortable to watch but at the same time like but why did the writers make him go through such uncomfortable stuff in every season i feel for the dude tech knight also gets killed by his butler and that's the end of tech knight the boys has a thing of ruining food first they made milk just uncomfortable to drink and now every time i eat chocolate cake i'm gonna get reminded of huey farting on it so thank you boys thank you amazon for ruining fun stuff mm finally does stuff this episode but only to then suffer a panic attack adding him to the list of potential casualties this season a train is also aware that he might die and homelander mentions that sage might have lied at the end of the last episode about coleman being the leak which means that sage might actually be good the confrontation between sage and mm is such a good scene and I fully thought she was dead, but it turns out she just got brain damage. And also Firecracker suddenly becomes Homelander's favourite by well. We also find out who truly is behind Black Noir's mask, and it's actually the actor who plays Black Noir throughout the show so far. And though I thought it was Sam, it won't be, but I do think Sam might actually wear the suit because we do see that he fights Butcher at some point. But at the same time, Butcher doesn't have any powers. And we finally get the long-awaited reveal that Joe isn't real, but instead part of Butcher's imagination. He essentially is the dark side of Butcher being manifested whilst Becca is the lighter, more reasonable side. And like Butcher, we are also shocked to find this out. We also hear Samir say in order to make the virus strong enough to kill Homelander, it would mutate and become airborne, which would then kill all the soups. And this leads to a scene I was waiting for the most, and it is Joe vs Becca. We also see the moments when Billy was talking to Joe, but instead there was no Joe, and Joe was in fact the one who killed his equal. But this episode has got me excited for the final two episodes of the season, giving this episode a 9 out of 10, and this season just keeps getting better. Subscribe and comment below your favourite moments and thoughts on this episode so far.